are watching Faith World TV. Faith World TV, changing the world with the Word of God. Welcome everyone. I'm Evangelist Rebecca Noel. It's time to talk about preparing for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He's about to come back. Just like he said he was going to prepare mansions for us. And then you come back and meet with us in the sky. That which he said is about to happen. Darkness will take all over the place. The sun will go dark, the moon will go dark, the stars will go dark. The Bible goes, sir. It doesn't matter where you will be on that time or that day. You just see that it is dark. When the sun is supposed to be shining, maybe it's around 2 p.m., the sun is supposed to be shining, it will suddenly go dark. If it is the night, the moon is supposed to be shining, you just suddenly see that it's night, but the darkness has increased. It's going to be gross darkness. The darkness that is too much, that is heavy. Darkness that has never been like before. The darkness that we have never seen. We have seen nights, but this one will be different. Why? Because the Lord will be about to appear. So this darkness will appear first, and then the Lord will appear in the sky with the saints that he's going to come back with. And then you go, the, the Christians that died, that are resting in the Lord, they'll be, they'll be lifted from their graves, and they'll go and meet with him in the sky. This is exactly the same thing that happened on the day he was crucified. The Christians that were resting in the Lord, they were lifted. The, the graves opened. They went out, and they went with him. It's about to happen, it will happen again. The graves will open. The Christians that died, that are resting, the Lord, resting in the Lord, they'll be lifted, and they'll go with him on that day. And then the Christians that are living, those that prepare themselves, they'll put on an immortal body. The bodies we have got on are not permanent. We cannot enter heaven with them because they, they die. So they belong to earth. We, should, we cannot take them with us. So the bodies that we have got on, they'll be translated and become a different board. But all this will happen during the time of darkness. The clothes that we'll be wearing, they'll fall to the ground, the shoes and everything will fall to the ground. And then the board is lifted, translated, and then the board will go up and meet with the Lord in the sky, and then we'll go to heaven and be partakers of the marriage feast. Before we get to heaven, everyone has got a gown that is prepared for them already. Those that die now, when they enter heaven, they, they'll be given a white gown, garment. Those that will go on that day, they'll be given a white garment. As the clothes that they are wearing fall off, they put on a white garment. And then they go to heaven with the Lord. That your white garment is the garment that you put on forever in heaven for eternity. But heaven has prepared it already. It is there waiting for you. All you need to do is prepare yourself for that day. Then when they go and they put on their white garments, they'll go to heaven, they'll enter heaven. There's a marriage feast that is prepared for it. For us in heaven, it's not a marriage supper because supper is taken at night in the evening. There's no night in heaven. There's no evening in heaven. Night and evening and darkness is in hell. In heaven, it's always day. So it's not a marriage supper. It's a marriage feast that they've prepared for in heaven. They, those that are already there and those that will go on that day, they already know who will go on that day. And those that have qualified to go on that day, their names are already written in the book. And the, the tables have been set for those in heaven already, and for those that will go on that day, tables have been set, they are blessed, their cutlery, everything is on the tables, and their names, the moment you walk in, you lift up the plate, and you check under the plate, you see your name. And that place will be a permanent place where you go and sit, in heaven, when it's time for you to go to the, to the dining hall, that, is going, that will be your permanent place. Even the white gown that you get on that day, the white garment will be your permanent garment for, for all your life in eternity. That, is, that will be your place for sitting. Just like your mansion will be your mansion forever. You will not change it, you will not move it, you will not sell it. It will be for yours forever. So when they enter heaven now, they go to the war and they, they, they'll have a marriage feast and the Lord will be there, the Father will be there, and then the Lord will present everyone to the, to the Father. Those in heaven and those that you take with him on that day, the ones that he died for, he will present them to the Father. So we've got to prepare ourselves, knowing that there's an event, it's a one-off event. 
Rita, that has been prepared for us in heaven, that we have got to go and be partakers of. But for us to be able to go and be partakers of, we have got to prepare ourselves and do what is right before the Lord. Take off what is not of God that has been on you, whether it is makeup, trousers, fake hair, jewelry, fake nails, anything fake. Maybe you lighten your skin. Anything that is not of God, that you have been wearing or putting on, those wedding rings, any ring on you, whether it's a tongue ring, a nose ring, a belly ring, it doesn't matter what sort of ring it is. You cannot enter heaven with those your rings. Rabbi Akosa, you cannot enter heaven with that, your, your, your skin, that, the fake skin that you, you, you bleached and you changed it yourself. That is not how God made you. You can only enter heaven looking exactly the same way God made you. So we've got to change now and go back to the original, the way the Lord made us, without makeup, without nose rings, without fake eyelashes, without trousers. Rabbi Akosa, Women with our hair covered in churches, no jewelry, no makeup. Rabbi Akosa, it is time for us to prepare ourselves for the coming of the Lord and do what is right before him as we prepare for his coming. Rabbi Akosa, it is time to change our ways. Where we're lying, it's time to stop lying and repent and ask him to forgive us. Where we're backbiting, we're stealing, we're doing what is not of God, we're fighting, we're causing the fight. We're coveting. We're taking what does not belong to us. It is time to change our ways as we prepare for the coming of the Lord because he's about to appear. So let us change our ways. I don't know. Some people thought that the Lord would just appear just like that. That the sun will be shining if it's during the day. The Lord will just appear just like that. It's not going to be like that. There's going to be darkness first. I don't know why, but it's the doing of the Lord. That at times when he wants to appear, before he appears, or at times when he wants to do something, before he does that something, there is going to be darkness. Darkness appears first, and then after the darkness, then the Lord will, will appear. It is exactly the same thing that will happen now. Before the Lord can appear in the sky, darkness will, be, will take place all over. Darkness will be everywhere. But it's not the first time that it has happened. It happened before. There was darkness everywhere before, and then the Lord appeared. We find this in, in, in Genesis 15, 17. It says, It came about when the sun had set, that it was very dark, and behold, there appeared a smoking oven and a flaming torch which passed between these pieces. This was Abraham when the Lord had asked him to sacrifice, to, to make a sacrifice. And Abraham took the cow and everything that the Lord had asked him to prepare for sacrifice. And Abraham prepared for the sacrifice and waited for the Lord to appear. But the Lord did not appear when it was during the day. The Lord appeared when there was darkness. When there was darkness all over, that was when the Lord appeared. Abraham waited and waited and waited and waited and waited. But the Lord did not appear. Before the Lord appeared, there was darkness. It's the same thing. We, we have been waiting. We are waiting. But before the Lord appears, he will appear. Before he appears, there's going to be darkness all over. The darkness will take all over the, the earth. This one appeared where it was just Abraham. When, when the Lord appeared to Abraham, but the Lord did not appear to him until there was darkness all over. And in the, same, in the same way, the Lord will appear this time. But before he appears, there will be darkness all over. And the, the Lord will be seen all over. The whole world will see him. And the darkness will be seen all over. The whole world will experience darkness. At the same time, gross darkness, too thick darkness. Then he will appear. I don't know why, but it is do, the doing of the Lord. He, he chooses how he, want to, how he wants to do it or how he, is, he will do it. And in this case, he has chosen that there will be darkness all over before he appears. Just like there was darkness before he appeared to Abraham. So it's going to happen again, but it happened before, during the time of, of Abraham. So don't be wondering why is it that they say there's going to be darkness all over. I think there's going to be darkness all over so that when people are translated, you don't see how, how the translation process takes place. 
Suddenly you see, just see that your, your, your skin has changed. But how it's changed, you won't be able to see it. But if it is during the, the day and you are looking at your skin, you might, you might see the process. I really don't know why, but all I know is there's going to be darkness all over. Gross darkness. Then the Lord will appear. Without that, that, that darkness, he will not appear. And you, we will only be able to know that the others have gone after the darkness is gone. Before the darkness is gone, you can't tell. You won't know who is gone and who is not. The Bible tells us as well in Matthew 24, 29. The Bible says, Matthew 24, 29. It says, but immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened. And the moon will not give its light. And the stars will, will fall from the sky. And the powers of the heavens will be shaken. So the Bible is telling us that there will be darkness all over. The sun will go dark. The moon will go dark. The stars will go dark. The heavens will be shaken. Darkness will be all over the whole world. It doesn't matter where, where you will be. Whether you be on the desert, in the sea, on mountain top, in the valley, in a flat, in a mansion, it doesn't matter where you will be. On the in the aeroplane flying, on a ship, it doesn't matter where you will be. In a car driving, it doesn't matter where you will be. You will see that there's, there's darkness, darkness that is different, that you have never seen before. This darkness will take all over the earth, and then the Lord will appear. Rabbi Akosa, but I just, I just want us to understand why we talk about the darkness that will happen first. Because people, some people don't understand, do not realize that there's going to be darkness first and that the process of changing the body, the translation, will take place when there's darkness all everywhere. And those that will be lifted, they'll be lifted when there's darkness everywhere. But the Lord will be the light. He'll be providing the light in heaven. Where you will be lifted, you will light up everywhere with the light that is on him. But on earth, at the bottom on, on earth, there will be darkness everywhere. And those, then those that will be lifted, they will be lifted and they will go and meet with him in the sky. And they will drop their clothes, their shoes, everything that they were wearing will fall to the ground. But it will be dark all over. When they are gone, you only see the clothes. This is why you, you left no graves for people that will go with the Lord on that day. Because they, their bodies, they, you left nothing to bury. Unless if you take the clothes that they were wearing and go and bury, they will be gone, there will be nothing to bury. Because it is the way the Lord has chosen to do it. That there will be darkness first, after darkness light. The darkness will take all over the earth and then he will appear the light and light up everywhere. So we've got to understand and know that this is what the Bible is saying is about to happen. The Bible tells us as well in Matthew 25, 6, it says, but at midnight there was a shout. Behold, the bridegroom came out to meet him. This was a parable that the Lord told people about a wedding feast that the, the ten virgins prepared for. But at night, it was at night when the, 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 the wedding procession appeared. They did not appear during the day. They waited for, for, for darkness, midnight. That, that was when they appeared. So the Lord, when he was here on earth, he told this parable because he knew what was going to happen. He knew that when he was going to come back, there would be darkness everywhere. Then he would appear. But we did not know. He knew already. But it is now about to happen. That darkness that he was talking about, the midnight that he was talking about, is about to take place all over. It will appear all over. And then the, the saints will be translated, they'll go and meet with him in the sky. So we've got to prepare our, ourselves and live knowing that the Lord is coming back anytime soon. Any day, any moment, any time, the Lord is coming. So we've got to prepare ourselves. That darkness that he was talking about is about to appear. It's, it's about to happen. The movie that those that are not Christians will, see, will look at and say, this is what the Christians were talking about. Look what is happening now. But it will be too late for them. They, they will not be able to repent at that time. 
They will not be able to change at that time. And some Christians will look at it and start crying because at the moment, when they hear that it's time to prepare, the Lord is coming, they are saying, I'll change. Maybe next week, I'll change. I'll repent. Maybe they lie and they hear the message that the Lord is coming back. Then they'll say, okay, next week I'll no longer lie. I'll give my life afresh to Jesus. I'll not lie. I'll not be bite. I'll not steal. I'll change. Maybe they say, I'm only working this job for now. Maybe it's a salon. But you know that operating in a salon will cause you to go to be unable to go with the Lord. Maybe it's a barber shop. But you know that operating in a barber shop will cause you to be unable to go with the Lord on that day. Maybe you sell beer. And you know that you can't go to heaven without your business of selling beer or selling fake hair. But you say, maybe it's a job that you know that the job that you are doing, you cannot enter heaven. But you say, I'll just do it for now. I'll, die, I'll just do it for two, three months and get some money. And then I'll leave it. The Lord might appear, it might go dark everywhere while you are still doing that job that you are saying for now. It is time to change our ways and do what is right for the Lord and leave whatever it is that will cause us to be unable to go with, that, with him on that day. When the darkness takes all over, will you be able to be translated? Will you be able to, to fly and go and meet with him in the sky? It is time for Christians to, to fly and be with the Lord. Rabbi Agosa, the Lord is ready to, to light up everywhere. Are you ready to be lifted and move towards the light and leave the darkness behind you? The darkness is for those that will go to hell. Are you ready to leave it with those that will be left behind here on earth and you move towards the light, the light of God, the light of Jesus that is about to appear, that is about to come? Don't forget that when the darkness appears, the light will follow. Which one do you want to go for? Do you want to stay down here with the darkness? Or you want to go up with the light that is about to appear? Lord Jesus, the light of the world is about to appear and light up the world. But what are you doing? Are you prepared to go with the light? Or are you are prepared to stay in darkness? Are you happy? Are you going to be happy with the heavy, dark, gross darkness that will take all over? And you want to stay in that darkness? Do you know how long it's going to be, the darkness? Why not choose to go with the light? Why not follow the light? Rabbi Akosa, why are you doing what will cause you to stay in darkness forever in hell? There's no light in hell, there's darkness. Why not choose light? Why not choose heaven where there is light? Rabbi Akosa, you know when it is night, it's not comfortable to see the darkness, but it's not as bad as the darkness that will fill the whole earth on that day. But you're doing what will cause you to stay in that darkness. Why not choose light? Why not do what will cause you to go with the light? The light of the world, Jesus Christ is about to appear, is about to light up the world. But are you ready to go with him? Have you done what will cause you to go with him on that day? Have you done what will cause you to be lifted on that day and fly? Christians are ready to fly. But are you one of them that will fly on that day? Change your ways. Go back to the Lord. Repent. In any way you had gone astray, it is time to change. But unfortunately, time is running out. There is no time the Lord is coming. Sooner than expected, let us change our ways. Rabbi Akosa, and do what is right for the Lord before he appears, before the darkness falls, so that by the time the darkness falls, we'll be lifted and leave darkness down and go up where the light is. We are not of darkness, we are of light. But what are we doing? Why are we doing things that are of darkness? Things that will keep us in the dark. Things that will cause us to be left behind. When he goes, then you'll be left behind and you face tribulation and face the suffering that will take over the whole earth simply because you chose to do things that are of darkness. Whether it is malice, jealous, backbiting, whether it is trousers that you put on, fake hair, makeup, jewelry. Rabbi Akosa, maybe you're a football fan, you cannot enter heaven as long as you're a football fan. Why? Because football is played in the spirit by the demons using a skull of a human being. Therefore, anyone that plays football or you're a football fan, you join the club, you, you pay, you contribute, you go and watch, you watch only in your house, you cannot enter heaven. Rabbi Akosa, whether you like it or not, it's the truth. You can watch it, or you don't like me, you don't like me, but you don't like me knowing that you cannot enter heaven. And on the day, they will tell you to go to hell because of that you're watching football, or your wedding ring, or, or, or not being able to pay dowry. Then you remember that I told you one day. Rabbi Akosa, or operating a saloon, a barber shop, or selling fake hair, or putting 
take care on people or having it yourself. The day you go to hell because of that, you remember me that I told you. You cannot enter heaven. You cannot do such things and enter heaven. You cannot do such things and move towards the light that is about to light the whole earth, but you stay down where the darkness is, gross darkness. Let us change our way. Rabbi Paul said the Lord is coming back. Rabbi Adam also sooner than, than ex, sooner than expected. It is time to change our way so that we run away from the darkness and leave the darkness behind here on earth as we are lifted and fly towards heaven, towards the light. Say no to darkness and say yes to light. The light of God. Rabbi Adam said is about to shine in the skies. But if we done what is right before, before the world, for us to be able to go with him on that day, and be partakers of the marriage feast that has been prepared for us in heaven and run away from the darkness towards the light. The Bible tells us in Matthew 27, 45, it says, Now from the sixth hour, darkness fell upon all the land until the ninth hour. This was the time when they crucified Jesus on the cross. When he was on the cross, there was darkness all over. Remember darkness when God asked him, Abraham to sacrifice. Abraham sacrificed, but God only appeared when there was darkness. And now when they crucified Jesus on the cross, there was darkness all over. So darkness up, took place first before Jesus could rise up, before, before the Christians that were dead uh, could be lifted, before graves could open up. There was darkness first. The Bible is telling us that from, from, I'll read it again. Now from the sixth hour, darkness fell upon all the land until the ninth hour. Some version says from mid, midday to about three, there was darkness all over. That darkness that was in Israel, first time it was just around, it was just Abraham. But second time it was in Israel. When Jesus was crucified, there was darkness everywhere in Israel. This time there's going to be darkness, the whole earth, everywhere. Rabbi Akosa, gross darkness is going to cover the earth. Rabbi Akosa, then just like during the time of Jesus, after the darkness, then that, that, is, that was when Jesus rose up. That was when the Christians that were dead were, were lifted. That was when the graves opened. In the same way, there's going to be darkness all over again. After the darkness all over, Jesus will appear in the sky. People that are dead will be lifted. People that are living will be translated, but there's going to be darkness everywhere. Rabbi Akosa, we have got an option to run away from the darkness. That is going to be everywhere. We have got to do what is right, so that when the darkness appears, we'll be able to move towards the light. We'll be lifted and go towards the light. But only those that do what is right for the Lord will be able to go towards the light. If you are doing what is not right for the Lord, you cannot go towards the light. The, the light will push you away from, from it. But if you are doing what is right before the Lord, the, you, the, the light will attract you. It will pull you. Why? Because you have been doing what is right before the Lord. It is time to change our ways. And do what will cause us to be, to, to be attracted by the light. And go with the light. And run away from the darkness. The darkness that will be on earth. So we can go with the Lord on that day. It's time for us to say no to darkness. And say yes to light. Because the light of the Lord is about to shine up. It's about to light up the whole world. But only those that prepare themselves will be able to go with him on that day. They'll be able to go and join the light and then go to heaven and be partakers of the marriage feast. But if we've done what is right for us to be able to go with him on that day, it is time to change our ways and what, do what is right for the Lord. So many things that we are doing. There are those things that people see, like fake hair, makeup, trousers. And then there are those things that people don't see in your heart, jealousy, malice, manipulation, covetousness. There are other things that people see as well, like you, adultery, you fornicate, you drink alcohol. Rabbi Akosa. But you expect to go to, with the Lord on that day or to go to heaven when you die. You smoke cigarettes. Rabbi Akosa, you are a married man, you are a married woman, you have got 100 girlfriends and 20 boyfriends. And you expect to go with the Lord on that day. You see this woman, you go and sleep with her. You see that one, you go and sleep with her. You, you, you don't marry, you don't pay dowry. And you expect to go with the Lord on that day. You have been living together with the children. No dowry was paid. You expect to go with the Lord on that day. It's not possible. 
Alaba Yakosa, you go to church, you don't cover your hair, you wear trousers, and you expect to go with the Lord on that day. It's not possible. You will stay down with the darkness. You cannot go up where the light is. Why? Because of the things that you are doing now, you refuse to repent. You go to church without a Bible, you don't read the Bible. You don't even have a Bible, but you say you're a Christian. Every Sunday you're in church, but if you ask you one verse in the Bible, you don't know. If you ask your children one verse in the Bible, they don't know. But they know all the games. You buy your children all the games, but you don't buy them a Bible, just one Bible. You don't read them with a Bible, just one verse a day. But you expect to go with the Lord on that day. And I'm sorry to say it's not for you. You will stay down with the darkness. But those that do what is right for the Lord, they'll go up to the light, where the light is. Because of what they do now, they'll be attractive to the light. The light will attract them. The light will pull them up. Why? Because of what they do. They are preparing themselves. They are teaching their children. You cannot be leaving your children. You don't teach your children. You don't train your children. And you expect to go to heaven when you die. You go to hell. Why? Because you, you did not teach your children the ways of the Lord. Thank you so much for watching. Rabbi Akosa, may the Lord bless you richly. May he do what only he can do in your lives. May he open doors in your lives that no man can shut. Makinderosa, I speak to every mountain that you have been facing in your life right now. I command all those mountains to be leveled in the name of Jesus. I speak to every valley that you have been coming across and I command every valley to be filled. May you be blessed more than you expected. May you be lifted more than you expected. May the love of God flow towards you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You are watching.